All right, let's send things back out to the Martinsville Speedway. Kathleen Germain and the rest of the WFXR news crew standing by live. Hey, guys. Hey there, Drew. It's so exciting to be here at Martinsville Speedway. 76th anniversary of Martinsville Speedway. This as NASCAR celebrates its 75th anniversary. I was speaking with Clay Campbell earlier this week, talking about the history and the tradition really rooted in Martinsville Speedway. If you really think about it, Martinsville has been a part of NASCAR since the very beginning. This is a track that's always been on the schedule, and this is a track that not just the fans look forward to, but also the drivers. Actually, it was before. Or NASCAR. Is they that were, what I said? You, you did. You were oh, right. Okay. okay. They, yeah, you were right. Like, You're accurate, but to you know, I'm just saying before, I mean, yeah. one year before NASCAR was even in play, Marginal was here, and it's just it's neat to see how it's grown. It still has that old school mystique to it. You know, when you drive up here and you just see the fans and it's just a special Changes hollow just enough. place. Yeah, just enough. And, and Clay Campbell said, you know, every year they tweak it just a little bit every year to make sure the fans get the experience. Yeah, and you were actually having a pretty serious conversation with someone, an interesting conversation, if you will, about Martinsville specifically. Yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, you have Caitlin Vinci. She is a Fox Sports host and analyst. And I'll tell you one thing, she's a Virginia native. She loves the short tracks. And I spent a little time with her, and we talked about the mystique of Martinsville, the short track run in the Commonwealth, and other great things connected to Martinsville. I feel like just listening to some of the feedback from some of the teams, they feel like there are some things that have been improved, but I still think it's a little bit too early to tell. Uh, we're still pretty new in the season. We haven't had many short track races. I think this weekend will obviously be a pretty good barometer to kind of assess where that short track package is at. Now what's neat is they've, they've done kind of the short track swing, the Commonwealth Sprint swing, start off at Richmond. Even though Bristol is in Tennessee, you can call it a Commonwealth track being close to Virginia. <laughs> And then Martinsville, just how neat is it that this part of the, the, the country, I mean, you know, like I said, our TV market, the Roanoke market is a hotbed of NASCAR. I mean, we're, I believe, like one of the top five NASCAR markets in the country. How neat is it for fans in our neck of the woods? They, they get Richmond, Bristol, and they wrap it all up with Martinsville. And then Martinsville, there's just nothing quite like it, like the paperclip, as I was talking about earlier. It just brings you back to the, the roots of the sport, and it has a very – kind of homegrown feel in a lot of ways. The track hasn't changed a whole lot. If you look at like the facilities itself and the stands, you know, a lot of it is still kind of a true testament to the original racing days there. And I know from competitors to teams to fans, Martinsville to me is one that is a is a huge favorite across the entire industry going out there. I think as a lot of the drivers, of course, started their careers on short tracks, uh, many of them are from this part of the country. So to them, that racetrack is not considered a crown jewel, but I feel like it has the same level of prestige if you're able to win it. It also has a very unique trophy if you win, which, you know, not all tracks have that necessarily, but getting the grandfather clock, I think, is one of those things that every driver wants to add to their resume and wants to have one of those clocks in their home. It's just one of those places, like I said, that has has a lot of notoriety. Uh, it's hard to win at. There's a lot of things that have to go perfectly from man to machine to pit crew to everything to to get a race win there. Uh, it's a tough track. It's physically demanding. It's a tight, narrow pit road. There's not a lot of margin for error. If you have a setback, it's really hard to make up ground because the laps are turning so quickly. So, you know, it, it, it's very difficult to put it all together and, and get a race win there. And I think that's why it means so much to the drivers and the fans. I think it means so much to them because, like I said, it gives them kind of a feeling of the days of old it pays homage to the old school racing days the old school racers because like i mentioned the venue itself hasn't changed a whole lot so i think when you go there you just feel a sense of nostalgia and it's it's a really special place and it's special to everybody and that's why the drivers all kind of circle this one on their calendar as a place they really hope they can go there and get a victory and we definitely want to thank Caitlin Vinci with Fox Sports with the NASCAR stuff. And I tell you, she knows her stuff. And she, I tell you one thing, she couldn't say enough great things. And she's right. It's all about the fans. We got fans right over, right over there. They, hey, come on over, fans. Got the checkered flag. Got a little kid there. Can we get? Yeah, can, yeah. Come on over they're real quick. All coming through. That's right. They're coming through. They're coming through. Little kid here with a checkered Wave flag, flag right here. Can, you raise your flag. flag. Wave your flag right here. Wave he your flag. There you go. Got the flag. Got the flag. On the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
and he's so they doesn't matter whether you're in your young age or you're in your 70s that you know people come and enjoy it yes they do all right